We're here on Fairway Drive in Carlton for a video tour of this modern, well presented detached family home which occupies a corner plot. Just starting off at the front of the property we have a double driveway which gives us off street parking. There's also then the main entrance door straight ahead. We have a pedestrian access gate just down the side of the property into the back garden. On top of that is access to the integral garage which has an up and over door and access to both power and lighting. So we've just stepped inside the property into the entrance hall where we have a staircase up to the first floor landing where we'll find the bedrooms and bathroom. To our left we have access to the lounge where we'll start off. Good sized reception room as you can see we have low maintenance timber finished flooring, plenty of space for living room furniture, double doors into the separate dining room. We then have a TV and internet access point in the corner, a feature burning log effect electric fire and then a feature walk-in bay window as well to the front of the property. Just have a look from the other side of the room. And having a look at the dining room, there is plenty of space in here for a good sized family dining table and chairs. And we also have access into the conservatory through French doors. Nice versatile space, currently utilised as a further sitting room. French door access out into the back garden, low maintenance tiled flooring. And we have both an electric and gas fired radiator in here too. We then have the kitchen, currently fitted with a modern range of base and eye level units, plenty of storage, have a recently installed electric oven, as well as a gas hob and stainless steel extractor canopy. On top of that, just behind the door, we have space for a fridge or freezer, space for a fridge or freezer underneath the countertop, just to the right of the door as well, and then a useful understair storage cupboard. Now the door takes us into the adjoining utility room where we have space and plumbing for a freestanding washing machine, further sink, and there's also plenty of room for a freestanding tumble dryer as well. Alternative access out into the back garden, which we'll see a bit later on. And from here, we also have access to the cloakroom, which is fitted with a two piece white suite. So then just having a look round upstairs from the first floor landing from left to right, we have access to useful storage cupboard, the master bedroom, bedroom number three, bedroom number two, family bathroom just to our right, and then we have bedroom number four. Just work our way around the landing, starting off in bedroom number one, which is a really good size double, as you can see. Window to the front of the property. We have access through the door on our left into the ensuite, and we also have a good size double door inbuilt wardrobe as well. Plenty of space for freestanding bedroom furniture as well as the double bed. En suite consists of a wash basin with vanity storage below, WC next to a heated chrome effect towel radiator. And then just to our left, we have a shower cubicle with glazed door and mains pressure control shower. And just head across the landing into bedroom number three. It is a good sized double room, currently holds a single bed, however, there is space for a double. I have a window overlooking the back garden and just behind the door, we also have a further double door inbuilt wardrobe. We then have bedroom number two, nicely decorated, good sized double again. Also has the benefits of a double door inbuilt wardrobe as well. We then have the family bathroom which is fitted with a three-piece suite. We have a WC wash basin and then bath with glazed shower screen and shower over. And then finally, we have bedroom number four, which is currently just used as storage. However, it is another good sized bedroom. Again, plenty of space for freestanding bedroom furniture. And then just having a look at the back garden to finish off the tour. To our right, we have a useful timber shed, which gives us good amounts of storage garden is mainly lawned, a variety of low maintenance planted beds and borders. 
And then just at the end of the garden, we have a really good sized paved patio area, which gives us plenty of space for the table and chairs.